take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in a slow, calm, relaxing breath. And as you exhale, just allow any feelings of tension, stress or worry to feel that it's being released and that you could exhale that tension in your outward breath. Breathing in that feeling of resourcefulness and feeling deeper and deeper relaxed. The deeper you breathe, the more relaxed you become. And I want you to use the power of your imagination to remember a place from your childhood where you felt safe and relaxed. Maybe a place in nature, maybe a place inside, a private place where you felt safe and relaxed. Imagine you're in that place and position your body within your imagination in that place where you can feel calm, relaxed. As I count downwards from 10 to 1 with each descending number, you will feel deeper and deeper relaxed like you're drifting off to a place where change naturally and effortlessly takes place. Some people call this place trance, hypnosis, or just the power of your imagination. So imagine being in that safe, relaxing place, feeling comfortable, and then 10, focus on the muscles in your forehead. Just release any tension there in your forehead. Nine, focusing on the muscles around your eyelids, eyebrows. Breathing in a feeling of resourcefulness and just releasing any tension around your eyes. Eight, now focusing on your jaw. All the muscles from your ears down to your chin and back up again. Just release any tension, unclench your jaw, make it loose, that's it, feel deeper and deeper relaxed. Seven, now focusing on the muscles around your nose, mouth, as you breathe in, relax all of the muscles connected to breathing, your windpipe, chest, Lungs all the way down into your diaphragm, finding it easier and simple to breathe deeply and effortlessly. That's it, as seven becomes six and six becomes five, just release any tension around your neck and your shoulders, all the way down your arms, arms feeling limp, loose and heavy, that's it. Four, as you breathe in, just Release any tension and imagine your internal organs are relaxing, stomach, lungs, stomach, all the way down across your heart into your gut. Just release any and all tension, that's it. Going into your gut, releasing that tension, anxiety just melting away, four becomes three, down into your legs, all the way down, legs Limp, loose, heavy, deeper, relaxed. That's it. Two, into your calf muscles, down into your toes. And then one, all the way up from your toes, the top of your head, all the way back down again. Feeling completely relaxed. And just imagine, within your imagination, a spiral staircase circling down to a moment in your past, perhaps the first memory that you can ever recall 
having an encounter with buttons. But I want you to see the memory like you're observing yourself as a child. I want you to imagine seeing a child, perhaps the very first memory that you can recall, but see yourself completely indifferent, ambivalent, no emotion attached to buttons at all. Observe how you would be as a child, staring at a small coin or a tiny stone. Look at your facial expressions, your body language. And I want you to see yourself as a child with exactly the same facial expressions and body language as you would do looking at a stone or a coin as you are with buttons, neutral, indifferent, no emotion at all. Observe perhaps a few different memories, each time seeing yourself interacting, perhaps with clothing with buttons. Maybe the buttons are loose or attached to fabric, But observe as you see yourself with complete indifference. You couldn't care less about buttons. Purely an inanimate object. Just the same emotion as a tiny coin, a stone. Or perhaps something as simple as a pen or a cup. Observe as you see yourself indifferent, disinterested, observing how you would look as a child, and perhaps you're updating memories of reality to this new constructed reality where you're observing yourself in childhood with a complete indifference to buttons. Any emotion melting away. And when you're convinced that there is no emotion attached to the buttons of any kind, no disgust, no repulsion, no emotion whatsoever, step into the memory. Feel how you would feel in one of those early memories being a child. Imagine seeing a small coin and imagine it's the same sensation as you see a button. Completely indifferent. No emotion at all. The buttons have no meaning other than they can be used to attach one piece of fabric to another piece of fabric. That is their entire function sometimes decorative, but purely in a functional way. Feel how you would feel back then to feel that apathy, ambivalence, complete indifference. And then imagine going through your life at any memory that you can recall and update them Perhaps observing yourself or perhaps reliving a moment but updating it to a new reality where buttons are meaningless, background noise, no emotion at all. Buttons are becoming the equivalent of white noise, present but unimportant. And then imagine leaving the memory and going back into your present and allow your mind to update all of the memories from your earliest memory to the present so that buttons become emotionless, indifferent. Allow that part of your mind 
to start to update associations and meanings attached to buttons. With new associations and new meanings, that is the gateway to emotions and as you relax deeper, you really feel that all strong emotions about buttons are dissolving, leaving only calm indifference. I want you to imagine a place where there would be stones, maybe a driveway, or stones by a river. And imagine that stones can be used as buttons and buttons could be used as stones. And in both cases, the emotion is the same. Just plain and unremarkable, blending into the scenery. And from this point onwards, every time you see a button, you notice it feels as insignificant as noticing a small, common coin. And with that thought in mind, feel the weight of any past discomfort with buttons lifting, melting away, replaced by a light, neutral sensation. Feel that your feelings about buttons are almost changing into just as neutral as any feelings you would have about a piece of thread. Breathe in and breathe out and with each outward breath let any negative feelings about buttons feel like it's leaving your body in that outward breath. Leaving your mind serene and undisturbed. And as you hear the word button it becomes synonymous in your mind with boring and functional. No emotion at all. Notice how easy it is to reimagine your memories with buttons in them, but this time noticing how you've always felt indifferent towards them, just as you do now. And when you think of buttons now, imagine just how dull and boring they are. Meaningless objects that have no meaning beyond their practical use. And each time you encounter buttons, feel a sense of boredom wash over you, as they are just ordinary, everyday objects. You are updating your emotional responses, feeling more neutral about buttons each and every passing day. You see them as just tools for fastening, no different from zippers, velcro, any other fastener, just plain and simple. Your mind is calm and indifferent to buttons, seeing them as trivial components of clothing, and any old feelings of disgust are now replaced with a new perspective where buttons are merely mundane. There is no embarrassment, no humiliation at all just as you feel neutral about small, unremarkable pebbles, you now feel this way about buttons. Feel the shift taking place inside you. Your perceptions, observations, what you notice, any memories get smaller and further away. And with every button you see, your indifference grows stronger. Buttons are like the colour beige, meaningless and dull. You're turning pages of old reactions into blank, serene calmness. And you can let the simplicity of buttons become a symbol of your ability to control and 
and neutralize unnecessary emotions. Imagine a button and feel a desire to yawn because they are that dull and boring. And you can embrace a future with a new normal. Where buttons are involved, they are just uninspiring and dull. Just another part of the fabric of life. And imagine your future, perhaps tomorrow, perhaps next week, observing an encounter with a button and seeing that ambivalent, disinterested, neutral response. Now when you think of the past, the present and the future, in all cases, buttons are meaningless and boring and dull. And when you sleep, in your dreams, your mind will update the new associations. With new associations and new meanings, the emotions can fade away. Feel it fade away. Any high intensity emotions dialing all the way down to low, meaningless emotions. That's it. And with those changes, feel that something is shifting. As you imagine walking up a spiral staircase, back into a place from your childhood, feel that you're now in that place and that it's time to leave that place all the way back to the present. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes, connecting fully in the here and the now, taking all of these new updated thoughts and emotions with you. As I now count from one to ten to awaken you, you will awaken with those new neutral associations fully embedded, starting to count. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. <laughs>